Okay, Terry, good day and welcome to Bumper to Bumper. How are you going? Good, mate, good. Now, very privileged to have a special guest on Bumper to Bumper this time. We're at Motor X 2016. Now, you actually did some of the stunt riding in Mad Max 1, is that correct? No, I did. I did. And it was all a bit of a fluke, actually, because we were hired as extras um, on the beach at uh, Sea Deer. And we had to stand there for two days. And uh, on the second day, we just took off through the car park. Like metal, metal heads. On oh, bikes? On bikes, thrown on rocks and gravel everywhere. And George Miller's run out and followed us. And I thought, oh, we're in trouble here for playing up. Yeah. So the next day when we come back, he said, oh, can you guys do that? And I said, yeah, we can do better than that. So we go from extras to permanently in the film and riding the bikes, done. That is amazing. So that's how that happened. That is, that's amazing. Because I was going to say, what's your history in um, bike riding anyway? Yeah, well, I rode a bike since I was about 10. Yeah. Um, my uncle had all the thousand cc's in the 50s. Yep. He had an aerial square four, he had a Vincent, um, he had a JAP twin thousand, uh, everything, and I did to go for rides on them. So he gave me the motorcycle buck. Yep. Yeah, so I ended up buying a little BSA Bantam. Then I joined a motorcycle club, uh, the Vigilantes, and then I was in, I uh, worked at Crawford Productions, right. which gave me the bit of the film role. So yeah. people knew me as the bikey in there who worked at Crawford's. So if they ever wanted someone, they just rung me up and away I went. All right. So I'd go and do all that for them. Amazing, just to get in there through that, um, that style in the bike. Now, what was it like working on Mad Max and actually doing some of those stunts? Because I saw one of the photos you showed me just earlier. You're doing 180 k's with a cameraman on the back. It's just insane. Yeah, well, that was a test run. A test run? A test run to see if I could hang on to the cameraman. Yeah. Because the cameraman and I were actually strapped together, and um, he was held on by a rack at the back, yeah. which had all sound equipment taped and bolted to it as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I come back, I said, are you ready? You're right now? And he said, no way. He said, I looked down and seen 180 through the lens, and I'm not going to going again. It's too fast, thanks. All right. So what were some of the what were some of the big stunts you actually did on Mad Max? Because obviously there was a lot of them. Well, running over Jesse and Sprog was a really dangerous one. Yeah. Because I had to come as close to Jesse as I could without being ridiculous. Yeah. Miss her and go around her and zoom off down the road. And then I had to go along and get the back wheel flying up in the air. So the shoe and the ball goes underneath. Yeah. It looked like they've been run over. Now that was one of the harder bits to do because they were real people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the other similar one was going past the big Kenworth, the truck that I run into. We had to do a few um, bypass runs. Yeah. Where the bike, truck, bike, truck, bike, truck, close, 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 cut it, and then do the big smash at the end. Yeah. Mm. So the, the, the safety, I suppose, back in those days probably wouldn't be prevalent. Totally non existent. Yeah. We were doing a car uh, chase. I was on the tow cutter's bike, this one, yep. and um, Philip Brock was in the black coupe, and we were in um, Bacchus Marsh, and these guys from the quarries that, that owned the place um, decided to hop in their Mercedes and drive off the lunch. Well, the guy with the stop sign and everything, they totally ignored him <laughs> and drove straight through, and we're heading for us, I don't know how many miles an hour, while we're going that way, plenty of miles an hour. Yeah. And I just caught a glimpse of glass through the trees and we stuck the end up for the boys to not run over you and slow down. Yeah. But we end up chasing them and pulling them up and oh enough said about that, they learned their lesson. <laughs> What were the bikes that you were riding? Obviously, these are replicas, but what were they? Just give us a rundown of the make and model of those bikes. Well, exactly the same as these. Mm -hmm. So, Kawasaki Z1000s. Yep. Straight from Kawasaki themselves. Yep. A bit of modification with the rear sets, uh, the exhaust pipes, the wheels on these ones. But they were a standard motor. Um, well, they're fast enough. Well, oh, they say any bike's fast enough as it is anyway. Yeah, about yeah, about Especially a 1000cc. Yeah, but we only had tiny little wheels on them and tiny and they wobbled all over the joint and bucked everywhere, but you just hopped on and went harder. And that's how you stopped them moving around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, what was the most challenging part of the bike? Well, 
Did you, in yourself, did you injure yourself during the movie at all? No, no, not a bit. So you're lucky? Yeah. Or just good riding? Yeah, a little, a little, little bit of both. Especially when that car was coming head on. Yeah. Yeah, that wasn't fun to see. I was going to say, because, yeah, you know, anything could actually happen. Well, well he's doing yay rider knots, and we're doing yay rider knots, and you double them, yeah. and that's what speed you've got. Mm. Mm, yeah. but, but overall, a very enjoyable experience? Oh, yeah, yeah. No worries whatsoever. Uh, me having a little bit of Crawford's behind me, yeah. knew a bit what to do. Yeah. I was no movie worker or anything like that, but I'd been out to plenty of sets. Yep. And um, some of my first riding was in Cop Shop, um, not Cop Shop, Matlock, Matlock Police, actually. Oh, good yeah. old Matlock. Yeah, where, where I, I ride Gary's bike, Paul Cronin. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I do the stunts in it. Well, the funny thing is, you know that there was a Monaro in, that, um, in, the, in Matlock Police as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they rolled that, and actually, I think someone only passed away on yeah, that. It was a white one, a yeah, white, white, white yeah. clean Monaro, yes. And that would have been, a, 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 that's, I suppose, an era in strain movie industry that was just really starting to take off with those, a lot of Division 4, Matlock, Police, oh, all those for shows. Sure, for sure. And so if they ever wanted any bikies, we actually work for them, and they just go downstairs, um, tell us what they wanted, yep. and then we're employed. Fantastic. Yeah, so away we go with the different film companies. Or Paul Crawford's himself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and they've got a room like that. All right, Jerry, I want to say thank you very much for being on Bumper to Bumper. It's been a thank pleasure you. to actually talk to you. Yeah, and, cheers, uh, fans. That's it, say right down the barrel, buddy. Yeah, cheers, fans. Thank you very much. All right, mate, all the very best. Yeah, live on Max. <laughs> live on Max, yeah. yeah.